Are you looking forward to getting your hands on a next generation NVIDIA Lovelace graphics card, seeing how you can't even get a current gen one? And are you also looking forward to your next GPU using up more power than a small community in Somalia? Well, then it's your lucky day, because the latest rumors on what NVIDIA Lovelace will be capable of, and exactly how much power it's going to be consuming to achieve it, is well, you just have to see it to believe it. Or maybe not believe it, seeing how it is while well, still rumours and speculation. But long story short, you're probably going to have to have a pretty beefy PSU to drive on these brand new graphics cards. Because according to the brand new leaks, these cards could go as far as consuming 450, if not more watts of power. And let me remind you, that is with the theoretical power savings of these being developed on a much smaller 5 nanometer process node compared to the 8 nanometers that Nvidia is currently using on the Ampere RTX 3000 cards. So paradoxically, they're using the power savings to make the power draw of this card even higher to get even more performance. But don't worry, because if you feel like your GPU just isn't using enough power and your power bill isn't high enough yet, then these cards will supposedly go way beyond even 450 watts, with these rumours even suggesting power draws of up to 800 watts. Though do keep in mind that these are for Lovelace in general, so you only most likely see those kind of insane power draws of 800 or more in professional quadro grade cars. You probably won't be seeing those kind of numbers in just standard GeForce gaming oriented cards. But regardless of whether or not these cards are going to be using 450, 600, 800 watts, it all points towards this Lovelace based AD102 chip being an absolute beast. But as long as beefy cooling solutions for these graphics cards continue to evolve and beefy PSUs continue to drop in price, then it shouldn't be something you as the end user should really worry about. It's just more of a curiosity and something that should, in theory, get us more hyped about how insane these new GPUs will be. So let me know what you think of all of this. Let me know what you think of this AD102 chip and what you expect from these upcoming Lovelace-based NVIDIA GPUs. I'd love to hear what you think. And if you'd love to see RTX 4000 related videos on this channel when it comes out, well, sadly, let's be honest, it ain't happening. Because Nvidia don't really give out review samples to channels this small. And even if I wanted to buy one of these cards, well, let's be honest, they're gonna be super expensive. So if you wanna help support a channel so videos like those could happen when Lovelace drops, then there are several ways you can help the channel. Of course, you can subscribe, like, leave a comment, that helps out a lot when it comes to the algorithm. But also, we have a merch store, we have Amazon links, and also alongside those, then in the video description below, you're also going to find our Patreon. And even just one singular dollar a month truly goes a long way in allowing me to make videos like that a reality. I'd also love to thank my existing patrons Gavin Burns, Ryan, OKB, Meg Sumner, Shane Allcroft, Lance B, Comic Gage Clothing, and Jesse Herbman. Thank you guys so so much for support, truly goes a long way. Down there you also can find our Discord server if you want to talk to me over at this or whatever else really. Plus then there's our social media links as well. But anyway, that's what it's I hope you enjoyed this video. If you didn't remember to subscribe, like whatever, and I'll see you all in whatever I make next. Goodbye everyone. Good bye.